Hey, this is attorney Elizabeth Potts Weinstein. And today we're going to go through how to request access to an LLC or corporation using BizFile. Specifically, if someone else created it, it for you, if they formed your LLC or corporation. In this case, I paid Inkfile to form an LLC for me in California. And now we're going to see if I can get access to it and how long that will take and how I'm going to do that. So let's go ahead and log into BizFile. So the first thing you have to do when you go to BizFile is log in. If you don't yet have a login, you have to create a login. You want the email address that you use for this login to match the email address you used with LegalZoom, Inkfile, Northwest, whoever you use to create the LLC. So I'm not using my law firm email login. I'm using my personal email login, which is what I use for the ink file. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the search and look up this business that I created, EPW Coaching. Okay. So you can see here that I can file an amendment, statement information, request a certificate, view history, request access. So I actually can file a statement of information here. Now, when if I file the statement of information, I have to pay the $20 to file it. In here, I would be putting my email address as the submitter. It doesn't mean though that I actually would have ad access to this business to do other things necessarily. It just means that I'm doing the statement of information. I think it, this is a, something that I think is kind of confusing with how BizFile works is anybody can file a statement of information as of today on any LLC or corporation. One of the problems with that is like random people can do that, which happens to me all the time. People are filing statements of information on my law firm corporation. Very bothersome. So we, I don't know if they're going to always keep letting you do that, but what we want to do is request access. So if we didn't want to dissolve this, which is one of the things I'm going to do, which I will also record for you, I have access. So I want to request access to become an authorized user. A current authorized user needs to grant that too. So I'm going to hit request access. You've successfully requested access to this record. Now, I don't know if there's a way for me to request it also via the pin number. So let's go see, look at the help and see how to do that. So I hit a help and well, help is not necessarily is a PDF, not like a nice search thing. All right. So you have to look through the PDF and see the ways to get access. So first that they have all these navigation things. We don't need that. Okay. So initial user access at the time of launch on April 7th, 2022, is either because you file initial filing through BizFile, automatic pre-designated access for those who have filed for an existing entity or legacy online application, a letter with an access pin if the user had if the user has not filed on our legacy online application, if an entity does not yet have access control established, a user may request access biz file online portal and a letter with a pin will be mailed to the entity's mailing address of record. Now somebody has access to this already. So it didn't give me the option to do the pin. Let me see if there's a way for me to do that. I don't think so. Okay, if you do request access, the person will receive that. I don't see another way to request access. So we're going to cancel that out. So today is March 16th, 2023. It is 5 16 PM Pacific time. And so we'll see how long it takes for them to for ink file to grant access. And if they don't get back to me, what I do next. So about a week went by and they did not grant the access. So on March 24th, I replied to one of their emails for me, which and that goes to support at inkfile.com. So on the 24th, asking for them to approve it. And then that was at 7.28 a.m. And at 7.29 a.m., it like went in and made a ticket. And then at 1.41 p.m., the ticket was updated by someone who was a supervisor who had the case had been escalated to them. And they granted access to the state website as I requested and I went in and I had access. So once they actually escalated it and someone acted on it, it really didn't take them that long. It was a same day thing. But the thing is they didn't reply to the 
communication directly from BizFile. So generally speaking, I would probably give someone a day or two, but then I would send a message or call whoever is the person or entity that created your LLC or corporation for you and have them approve the access. Now, when I get these notifications from past clients, I always email the client to make sure that they're the one that sent that because sometimes it's from some other random lawyer or even a random person. And I want to make sure that it's legit. And then I have the client specifically or former client specifically approve it. Again, this is attorney Elizabeth Potts Weinstein. If you have any questions about what we did today, you can post them in the comments below and I'll try to point you in the right direction. Thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Subscribe for more videos like this. And if you would like to connect further, you can join the Patreon or the Discord. Links to those are in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.